Hello everybody, I'm here to show you the BUB with ESL Audit. It's a lock that has the capabilities to add multiple users into it and the capabilities to operate multiple doors at one time. Let me show you how to add users into the system. Touch our key to the key reader, enter our PIN code, enter, gets me into the main menu. I will select three for administration, two for users, one for add. Now it's going to ask me what profile do I want to set. So you can have multiple different profiles that you want to set. You can have a customer or an employee that can access just the outer door only. They can access both doors or they also have the capabilities to access both doors and add and delete other users. For this, we will just say door one user only. So that'll work. Profile number two, enter. And now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna set it as a pin and key like this one? For this operation, we will do pin only. Pin only, enter. And add the user name. We'll just put something generic like user for right now. Enter. So now it's showing me what I've just set up, my temporary pin code. So I'm going to type in 02 because it was user number 2 and the temporary pin code of 111111. Enter. It's now going to tell me I need to change it to my new pin and we'll just set something easy so I don't forget. Enter. Oh. Told me invalid, this must be too easy of a code, so I'll try something better. There we go. So now I've successfully changed the pin code, and it should get me into the menu options. It's only a door one user, so I can only open door one. If I try to open door two, access denied. So, okay, I'll just open door one. Turn handle. Now you see there's an inner door in there now, so anyone that has access to the inner door, you don't have to open the outer door first and then go back in and say you want to open the inner door. You simply log in the first time. And I have the option to select door 2, and now this time it's going to tell me, you're okay, open this door. And now I can open this door. Now, let's say somebody has been transferred or for whatever reason needs to be deleted out of the safe. Here's how you go to delete them. It's pretty much the same direction you go to add users. So I'll log in, I'll go to administration, go to users, but instead of going to add, I'll go to three for delete. It'll take me through the user list again and I'll scroll to user number two, enter, confirm, okay. User 2 deleted. So this keypad is powered up with two 9 volt batteries located on the underneath side of the keypad. And also has optional AC power. Should you decide to go with the AC power, if you ever lose power to your store, you still have backup power coming from your 9 volt batteries.